Representative Adam Kinzinger wants former President Donald Trump charged and jailed for January 6th, and Biden can't figure out why oil companies don't want to invest their own money in U.S. infrastructure. Plus, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich says Republicans must choose Kevin McCarthy as Speaker or Congress will fall into chaos. Plus, Biden teams up with Senator Mitch McConnell to tell the American people how the $1.7 trillion spending bill won't lead to more inflation and will, in fact, improve their lives. But I'm not sold on it, but let's go through it today. Happy New Year to my YouTube community, and thank you guys so much in advance for liking and sharing these videos. I'm so excited to bring you the news in 2023 and hope you had a lovely holiday season with your family. Also, if you missed out on this morning's Department of Justice cover-up video, please make sure to go back and watch that. It's about two minutes long, but there's evidence that the Department of Justice has been covering up for the Biden family. Last night, the Ukraine city of Kyiv successfully defended itself against uh, exploding Russian drones. Overall, Russia sent 40 drones to attack Kyiv and other provinces in the area, but were ultimately unsuccessful as they were able to shoot down all of the drones. Each of these drones being shot down likely saved hundreds of lives, so it's nice to see Ukraine have a win after Putin and the Russian Federation Army have been bombarding them day after day since Christmas. In a shocking twist of events, President Biden will be joined by Republican leader Mitch McConnell to tout the newly passed $1.7 trillion spending bill on Wednesday of this week. The White House stated they will discuss how his economic plan is rebuilding our infrastructure, creating good-paying jobs that don't require a four-year degree, revitalizing communities that are left behind. Biden has long claimed to be a president for all people, not just Democrats. However, his actions and the speeches he gave in 2022 show just how much he dislikes Republicans, especially Make America Great Republicans and anybody who is associated with Donald Trump. Now, this uh, will be them trying to explain how uh, printing another $1.7 trillion of debt won't lead to more inflation and will in fact bless your life. But as I've gone through the $1.7 trillion bill, it doesn't do a lot for the average American, especially the middle class and lower income families. The stock market was red today uh, with all indices or indexes being down. However, there were many individual stocks that did well. Uh, some are saying this is not a good start to a new year. However, uh, other analysts say that the first week of the year almost always has lower trade volume, so you shouldn't judge the success of a stock's calendar year based on the first week. So basically, it's too early to determine whether the market will be up or down for the year. However, many mining stocks, junior mining stocks, and energy-related stocks, such as oil and gas, were in the green and positive today. Even though stocks were extremely volatile in 2022, many experts have pointed out that this was a year of record-breaking dividends from companies paying out dividends. Now, I've told you for a long time, if you've been watching my channel, that I am a huge fan of dividend-paying stocks. Yes, I buy value stocks and stocks I believe have a large upside potential over the next 10 years. Uh, but if you want to ensure growth on your money and protect against the downside, then you need to look for companies that have a healthy dividend paying uh, aspect to owning their stock. Uh, and this is what many uh, smart financial analysts are saying is that dividend paying stocks were the winner in 2022. And I completely agree with their assessment. Vice President Kamala Harris has suddenly become scared of COVID again. She is now requiring anyone that wants to see her, meet her, take a photo with her, or even be around her to produce a negative COVID test. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich is telling the new House Republicans that they have a duty to elect Kevin McCarthy of California for the new House Speaker position. 
He said uh, to not even mess with having a Republican majority and then accidentally giving a Democrat the speaker position. He said McCarthy is to be made House Speaker or Congress will descend into chaos. What do you think? Will uh, Kevin McCarthy be a good replacement for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi this coming year? Let me know your thoughts down below. The most watched show on Netflix ever was the Adams Family Redo of the limited series Wednesday. It broke records and Netflix gave it the green light to go towards season two and fans are losing their mind with excitement. However, it's going to be a legal battle. Season two might only be available on Amazon Prime as Amazon will be purchasing MGM Studios, uh, which owns the rights to the, to the Adams Family franchise. So that could be a big upset. Have you seen Wednesday on Netflix? If so, did you love it or did you hate it? Uh, it's a limited series directed by uh, Tim Burton, who has vowed to never work with Disney again. So let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments down below. Our family watched it. I thought it was very entertaining. President Biden is back from his vacation in the Caribbean, where he stayed with a billionaire friend for free. So thanks for saving the American taxpayers some money. But now he's ready to get back to work for the American people. And his first order of business was to publicly attack oil companies. He said, I can't understand why you're not willing to invest in making more oil and gas. It's like this guy has completely forgotten that for months and months, he publicly drugged these people through the mud, threatened to put them out of business and said his number one goal is to replace them. But now he's wondering, why don't you guys want to invest your own money and get more oil and gas to make me look good? <laughs> he said, if you want to pay dividends, pay your dividends. If you want to pay shareholders, pay your shareholders. But please start investing in American oil and gas infrastructure. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that oil and gas companies are suddenly going to say, you know what, this is a sitting president. We're going to do what he says. Or do you think they're going to snub him and do what's best for them and protect themselves against being put out of business by the federal government. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Biden's energy secretary, Jennifer Granholm said, she is excited and eager to work with these oil companies on a solution. I guess maybe you shouldn't have subpoenaed them to testify in front of Congress and then harassed them and publicly shamed them. But what do I know, right? All right, now there may be some relief for investors in the FTX Ponzi scheme it, that is if lawyers and court fees don't eat up all of the money that comes back. It's been recently discovered that the country of the Bahamas seized $3.5 billion of FTX cash and assets. They say that they are willing to hand it back over to the United States bankruptcy court when the time is right. So there may be some light at the end of this very dark tunnel. Outgoing Republican Representative Adam Kinzinger of Illinois who is known for hating President Trump and serving on the January 6th committee at the request of Nancy Pelosi says, it's time to charge Donald Trump with a crime and lock him up in jail. Kinzinger said in a statement today, if Trump isn't charged and jailed, then he fears for the country. He also said, if a president holding a rally to interrupt a congressional process uh, that led to violence isn't a crime, then he doesn't know what is. Kinzinger then gave his final words on his final CNN interview and said he will not miss working in Congress. It's awful. Is Kinzinger right? Is Trump going to be charged and sent to jail for the rest of his life? Or is Kinzinger an angry, biased Republican put in place by Nancy Pelosi? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Former National Secretary Advisor H.R. McMaster said, He's very worried about China. China has been saying publicly that they want to basically instigate uh, warlike activity with the United States in order to excite their own army and their own country, but also rally China's allies to China. So basically they're saying uh, we need to provoke the United States and get them into more warlike situations so that we can rally China 
and get allies to back China. Let me know, do you, do you think that this is China's way of saying that they're going to make a move on Taiwan and, and get their base rallied and get their allies rallied? What do you think? Are they willing to poke the, the American military bear? Or is this all just rhetoric and talk in the news? Let me know your thoughts down below. Last week, I reported that popular Republicans are blaming former President Donald Trump for poor performance in the midterms. However, Trump is saying that Republicans lost their own midterm elections, and the fact that they took such a harsh stance on abortion was the number one thing that cost them the election. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, Trump continues to bask in the new revelation that nothing was found out from his uh, taxes being leaked to the American people. Despite this, critics have still found other ways to attack Trump, saying this proves that billionaires pay taxes differently than the rest of the country and that all of these loopholes should be closed or that there should be a flat tax on everyone. That way, super wealthy people like Trump and Jeff Bezos aren't able to leverage write-offs to lower their tax burden down to zero. He said it's time to fundamentally change the tax code. Let me know what you think about that. Now that Trump's taxes ended up being a nothing burger, many Democrat leaders in Congress are saying that this was a bad move to release a citizen's taxes to the public without his or her permission. Really what they're saying is that they are afraid of revenge now that they did this and it ended up being a nothing burger. But let me know what you think. Should they have released former President Donald Trump's taxes to the public without his permission? I, I'm be, I'd be very curious to hear from you. Now, Casey and I have a new giveaway for the month of January. 10 of you are going to win $500 in cash. These, send, these same 10 people are going to get a private Zoom meeting with me to go over your financial situation and put together a get out of debt plan. And also you'll get that $500. And we're so excited to be able to do that thanks to generous video sponsors. And I know that he hates this, but I wanna publicly thank Alex. Uh, this is uh, somebody that I use for coaching for an Amazon business that Casey and I are building for our family. So if you've ever wanted to learn about building an Amazon business or a Walmart business, or if you already have an online business and need to figure out how to build your email list or make more sales, you might want to reach out to Alex because he will do a free one-on-one -on -one co uh, coaching consultation with people from my YouTube community. And I'll leave a link to his business down below. Now, before you go, I want to remind you that you are amazing. Make sure to check out this super important video and get subscribed to the channel. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by today and I will see you on the next video.